Hi, I'm Leslie Bailey with Indie Maven, and we are here for another episode of Shit You Should Know. I'm here with Tony from Hope Plumbing, and he is here to answer all of my burning questions about <laughs> plungers. There are many. So I feel like everyone's like, you should know how to use a plunger. <laughs> Except, and I feel like maybe lots of us don't. I know I have absolutely splashed myself in the face several oh, yeah. times, or like it just doesn't seem to work right. I know like this is the same type of plunger I grew up with. I feel like they've probably changed a lot. I, I could be wrong, but can you just like, give me an update? Like, is this the, even the right one? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, sure. So like with every industry, uh, technology is really catching up. So um, that plunger, this is kind of the iconic one that you see, you know, when you think of a plumber, you think of, you think of this guy. Um, you told me earlier this is for a sink. This is actually more for a sink. A lav sink is usually going to have more of a, more of a flat bottom to it. Okay. So the idea is to get suction with this thing. So once that has a nice seal on the sink, you can kind of push something down through the drain. So this is like the OG, but it actually is, this is good for sinks. This is designed for sinks. The wave of the future are these nice beehive uh, plungers. So, you know, you can pick one of these up for under 20 bucks. It's totally worth it. One of the cool things about this one too is that you can fold it in to where now it's essentially a sink plunger as well. The idea really here is that you're wanting to push as much air and or water down through the toilet to uh, jar things loose as you can. So the idea with this beehive is that it's got a rounded bottom. So this kind of fits down inside of the toilet. So you're gonna have a lot less splashing. You wanna have a little more water in the bowl. You're not gonna have the splashing. That, that air and water is being forced down into the toilet so instead of out, out the sides. I have a friend, it's really a friend, it's not me. <laughs> this this Tony friend. Her <laughs> baby put some toys, flush some toys. Ah, uh, yes. So in that case, does this, we want to attempt to use a plunger or? If you know for a fact that there is a toy down there, it, you really, the idea with plunging is that you're forcing whatever's in there down into your plumbing system. So I've seen Barbies. Oh, the wrong way. So the wrong way. Don't plunge it. Probably don't plunge it. I mean, if it's something that, could go down, sure, but Barbies. So it's like a bar, something big. It's something. I've seen marble or something. Capri Sun pouches, uh, juice boxes, all kinds of stuff go down the toilet. So, okay. so that kind of stuff. I mean, even if you did push it through the toilet, you really don't want that getting caught up deeper into your uh, in your system because then you're going to have to start uh, cutting so things up. Anything else that we need to know about plungers? I now know how to not splash myself. Which kind of plunger I need? What to do if these babies stick things down the toilet? Be persistent. Try a handful of times. Um, there's plenty of times that even an expert like myself, <laughs> maybe the first time's not going to work. Okay. Um, so you know, as long as you're not overflowing the toilet, flush it. You know, if it, even if the water raises, that's kind of good. Get that plunger down in there and, <laughs> and really uh, force it through.